part of an ensemble cast is actually quite easier because you're really only seeing like maybe five minutes of your life. When you've got to fill an hour, you know, when you've got to fill 40 minutes of, of showtime for 13 episodes, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't care. Even these people who are great, NeNe Leakes, I mean, who are, you know, Bethany, who are these, you know, just classic reality stars, a lot, nothing really happens in their lives. Like think about your own life. Most of the time it's, you know, eating, going to the bathroom and picking your kids up. Like it's the same crap every day. So it's hard to hold down your own show. I mean, it really, you really look is. at shows like flipping out with Jeff Lewis and, and like that stuff, they really, and like Rachel Zoe, like they really were able to, and even like, I mean, I don't even count Bethany getting married. Cause that was about a, but Bethany ever after lasted for a hot minute. So That's yeah, it's, enough. it's but really was- hard. Something was happening. I mean, the Kardashians, one of the reasons that they've just had been so successful is there's so many of them. I mean, you know, they they are their own housewives ensemble within that family because everybody has a storyline. So, you know, they've been able to, I think, parlay that into so much. And they all want it and they all know how to do it. I mean, yes, we have issues with Courtney at times. She wants to quit, but- Rob. Right, Rob quit, but like they're all- Caitlin's gone. Caitlin's gone, but like- Right. The fact that you have four plus the two, you know, Jenners plus Chris, and then you throw in the Scott. And now we have, we had Kanye, we have Travis Bark. I mean, this is the gift. I mean, I don't care. What I know it keeps says. giving and giving. Although I've got to tell you, can I just say I've, I've watched uh, on Hulu and it's, it's not, not the same. No, it's not the same. I don't, I don't think, I mean, I, and I, I would be shocked. I know Chris comes out and says that they have the highest ratings on Hulu. You never see the numbers. And again, I love the Kardashians. I love wow. Chris, love Chris, wow. love what they've done, but I just, I get it. I think now it's so calculated and quite honestly, it's so boring to see Courtney and Travis get married. It, it's like, who cares? It's, you know what I mean? It's just so stupid. It's like, Yes. And yes. And that's why bring on the hate people. I will double down on your statement. I fucking love, I love Courtney. I love Kim. I love Kylie. I love Kendall. I love Chris. I love Lord Disick. I love Corey. I love Caitlin. Oh, Caitlin's so problematic. Guess what? I fucking love her. I love Sophia, her friend who lives with her. I had on this, I love anything Kardashian and Jason Black. China was here. Love food. God, ah, bow down to the food. God, love them all. You don't see, the see, but you don't see a lot of the characters anymore. Now on the show now, it's very, it's all their confessionals. And it's like, you know, I mean, the, getting the Met Gala dress was kind of interesting. The Marilyn Monroe dress, but you know, you don't see any of the truth of like, what did Chris have to really do to get that dress? You know, I mean, it just, it's, it's, which is probably like they gave money, you know, lots of, lots of stuff. You don't see any of the, you know, you just see fast forward. Oh, she's going to wear the dress. And every word is a, I mean, God, could you imagine like who was on my show? Who was like, could you imagine? I forgot who said this being like the production staff on that show, the amount of emails and edits and everywhere. I think I told you, like, I, I did an interview with the Associated Press or NPR. They called me. They wanted a comment on how I feel about the Kardashians, which I didn't even know this until they called me for an interview to comment on how I was just like, you know, somebody in the space that's an expert, like that they control every image with an interview. So like, say that I interviewed Kim, I can't do my posting on, on Instagram. It's like, I have to be said, these are the three pictures you may post of Kim herself. And if we're going to take a picture with you and Kim, it's not even your picture with them. It's like, even Kim, like, Here's my interview with Kim Kardashian. Here she is with like just her head and a dark blue, but whatever it is for that interview, they say this is the only image sign here that you are allowed to use in promotion. Can can you imagine? It, no, it takes so much work. And like now I just feel too, you watch this. All it is is them trying on dresses. It's them going from one fit, which to me, like I love glam. Like, yes, I want my hair and makeup artist here at 7 a.m., but then I need them out the door at eight. Like I can't... I. I don't want to do, to me, nothing is fucking more monotonous than getting a dress fitting. Then I I just, I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't. And now you watch the show and it's just one dress fitting after another. And it's so, I think the editing on that show is so easy because I think Chris and Kim give them a layout like, okay, here, Monday, we're going to a dress fitting. Tuesday, we're going to another dress fitting. 
Thursday, we'll sit down for a confessional about those two dress fittings. Friday, we're going to show you just a quick glimpse of the kids. And, you know, then we're off for, I mean, I think the production is so easy now because it's basically one big running commercial for them. And again, they're genius. I love it. They are, genius. I mean, bow down to what they have done, but it's now it's just a Hulu ad really of, you know. Well, also before we move on, I mean, can you imagine like, that's the point you want to be at? You want to be able to control yeah, every yeah, word. Yeah. Every, and the, the point is, okay, ABC, you don't want to use the two approved pictures of Kim Kardashian. Guess what? Fuck you. We're going to go to Ellen. We're going to go to the talk. We're going to you, you, there's nobody that says no. Yes. Wait, I, I can interview Courtney Kardashian and I have to use this image. Sure. sure you, yeah. And of course, NPR is not that because they they can't be bought. So they were very militant. Like, this is not free speech anymore. And I'm like, girl, whatever. Just quote me in the damn article. But I ain't saying nothing about it. I told you, I'm I'm afraid of the Kardashians. I'm going to stay on their good side. Um, what else? Be oh, Beverly Hills. Did you see the thing I just sent you before we went on yes, air? That Kathy I Hill love and this. Ursula Nesbitt could be joining RHOBH for season 13. Don't know who she is. Apparently she's been there. She was on Paris getting married. She's one of Kathy's friends. Will it matter if Kathy has a friend? Will she stay? Yes. Oops. And yes. Yes and yes. Kathy is staying. Yes. And he's even said. Kathy loves being on television. And by the way, I'm manifesting that you and I end up at Kathy's mansion in I January. Mean, Girl, I would love this. Kathy, Kathy. Kathy is staying and Kathy is lobbying to bring a friend, don't you think? She's lobbying to bring a friend. I mean, look, she's going to have to. Andy just came out and said, like, look, it's her choice. She can stay or go. I mean, they're not letting Lisa Rinna go because of Kathy Hilton and they're not letting Erica Jane go. So Kathy needs to backtrack that statement. Some people say, like, oh, she never said that. Uh, bullshit. That's what I heard with my ears. So I'm going to stick by that. I mean, look, I still think Rinna could go. By the way, Le Lisa Rinna listens to us, Sarah, 24-7, because the girl is taking our advice. Well, no, I mean, I don't know that for sure as Sarah's mouth drops open. I, I will, love Rinna so I, much. I will tell you people who did listen to us in two seconds, Um, because I just got called out in an interview I was doing with two people. They're like, but... Lisa Rinna is listens to us because she is posting herself on a beach with Harry. She is posting herself having morning toast. Rinna is posting daily life activities, no makeup, sweats, and a big hat and sunglasses. Rinna's out and about posting life and life. This is good, Lisa. Stay low. If you want to come back, don't get into it. Don't get into a fight with Kyle. Don't get into it with Sutton. Stay low. Keep a low pro. Stay right? low. Oh, I, I think it's genius. Oh, look, I stand by it. Ren is back. Kathy's back. Kathy's bringing a friend. I don't care how rich Kathy is. Kathy loves to be famous. She's all over her TikTok. And I love Kathy to be famous. I adore Kathy. I uh, like, like I said, I will ride for real. RHOBH is the greatest reality show we have ever.